Hello dear parents and lovely students. Recently, Indian students got four gold medals in International Ast Astronomy Olympiad and one student got silver medal. These students have made us again proud. After International Physics Olympiad, International Biology Olympiad, Maths Olympiad, students in astronomy also have done really great. We are doing our part to ensure that this legacy continues and this trend of getting golds for India continues. Therefore, we recently launched two courses on NSEA preparation and that's what this video is about. What are those two courses? Before I move on to those courses, let me just briefly talk about the NSEA examination. NSEA stands for National Standard Examination in Astronomy, which is a first stage Olympiad examination conducted by IAPT to select students who eventually are filtered for representing India at international stage. This exam will be held on 25th November at 2.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. This exam is going to be objective examination with 216 maximum marks, 48 single choice questions and 12 multiple answer questions. So in two hours, students are expected to solve 60 questions. The exams will be conducted in English and Hindi. There can be additional language provided 300 or more than 300 students opt for it, then only that language can be chosen. The students will be categorized in two groups, one grade 12 group and second grade 11 and below. There will be separate cutoffs for both the groups. 250 students will be selected from each group who will further write Indian National Astronomy Olympiad generally held in the month of February. As I said, cutoffs will be different. That is, merit index and minimum admissible score will be different for both the grades. If you don't know what merit index is, what merit uh, minimum admissible score is, you can check out one of my shots that we recently uh, recorded. Registrations started on August 21st. They are open till September 14th. I recommend each and every student to write this exam just for experience. All students of 10th are eligible for it. All students of 11th are eligible for it. All students of 12th are eligible for it. Some students in 9th are eligible based on their date of birth criteria. And if they are not writing NSEGS, then they can write this examination. Now, we've launched two courses to, to help students prepare for NSEA. One is a full physics maths astronomy course, which is priced at 8,000 rupees after discount, after applying coupon code. It is, it is made for, with students, it is made for students of grade 9th, 10th, 11th. Not that students of 12th cannot take it, they can also take it, but we believe students of 12th are already good in physics and maths. Therefore, they should not go for a course which also has physics and maths live classes. In this course, astronomy classes will start from August 23rd. Yes, you heard it right. We will be doing astronomy classes also. There will be 24 astronomy live classes. And physics and maths classes will be starting on September 4th, 2023, once students get free from IOQM examination. Classes will be daily 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. So this is one course, Target NSEA 2023, priced at 8,000 after applying coupon code. The description You can find the link in the description box. The second course is only astronomy for NSEA. In this course, the, uh, this course is what? This course is again for all the students. Students of 9, 10, 11, 12 can go for this course. But we, we are saying since 12th standard students already have covered physics and maths, therefore for them who, are, who have done good physics and maths and are aspiring and NSEA, they can go for this astronomy course. Having said, whosoever wants to learn astronomy, whosoever wants to go deep in astronomy can definitely go deep in it. Recently, one of the parents wanted to go uh, study if in this course and that parent is also free to choose this course. The classes will be 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. The classes will be common for both the courses. It's just that only astronomy class classes are available in this. In the other course, that is full course, all the three classes are there. This course is priced at 4,000 rupees after applying coupon code, previous course. The full course is, up, is, is at 8,000 rupees. Talking about 
the course elements, as you can see, astronomy is such, is such, such dear to us. Uh, Chandrayaan 3 is coming, so that's why we've chosen Indian colors to just, you know, uh, represent. So in, so in only astronomy course, there will be 24 live astronomy sessions. Whereas in full NSCA course, there will be 24 live astronomy sessions, 20 live physics sessions, 20 live mathematics sessions. Apart from that, whatever part test we are making for full, astronomy students can write those part tests also. There will be five part tests. Whatever full test we are making for NSCA course, full NSCA, astronomy students will also get that. Whatever content we are making for physics, maths, and astronomy, which comprises of, which comprises of 15 to 20 exercises per chapter in physics and maths uh, in, in exercise 1 and in exercise 2, previous year questions collected chapter wise over the past 12 years in addition to a brief theory in physics and maths. In astronomy, it comprises of all, it comprises of all 12 previous year questions, 12 year previous year questions, uh, th this content comprises of. We'll also be giving Telegram doubt. Telegram doubt students in astronomy will get doubts in astronomy and, and students of, who are going for full course will get doubts for all full course, full, full, all the three subjects. Needless to say, every Vedanta course has replays. So naturally, if student is not able to attend the live lecture, the replays will be there for his consumption uh, at, his, at, at his convenience. Now, in astronomy, these are the topics and this is the lecture distribution that we plan to cover. This is just to give you a brief overview of that. We are not, we are going quite deep in astronomy at, uh, from a beginner's level standpoint. So you can see, we'll be talking about units of uh, astronomy, un whatever units are used for measuring astronomical distances. Then we'll be talking about the physical properties of stars, stellar classification, and these, on all these topics, we will be covering, this is the lecture plan. As per our previous year analysis, all these topics comprise 24% of NSCA. So 24% of NSCA will be covering through these astronomy lecture plan. This 24% is basically, we went through the previous year questions of every, every year, we tagged those questions, understood, okay, this question is from astronomy, and hence calculated that and we arrive at 24% questions from NSEA. Please note, gravitation is, is a common topic for astronomy and physics. We have considered in astronomy, and that will be covered in astronomy because a lot of planetary motions is governed by, uh, is governed by Kepler laws, which is also part of gravitation. In physics, we plan to cover these topics, heat thermo, SHM waves, ray optics, modern and general physics, and fluid mechanics. If you, if you, if you closely observe, we have very strategically chosen such topics that students of 11th standard who probably would have done mechanics by now, who probably would have also done uh, uh, the solids part, those students will can really augment that learning uh, through uh, with, with these topics and overall increase their coverage or preparation. Even students of 10th standard who, are, who, who probably would have done mechanics on their own, and generally, these are the topics that they don't do on their own. They also get a chance to learn these topics. Ninth standard students, if there is a wish, you can also probably go for it. Twelfth standard students, as I said, need not go for it. And hence, they are uh, physics lectures we are recommending only for 9, 10, 11 students. But the point to be noted is in 20 lectures, we are helping students cover additional 20% of the NSEA. 24% astronomy. 20% this, and when we talk about mathematics, it's additional 25%. So these are the topics that we will not be doing in physics. That is, we will not be doing 18.38% uh, uh, of NSEA will not be covering in physics due to paucity of time. Students who really wish to do it and who feel they have time, they can definitely reach to us. We will help in all possible manner, apart from giving content. Content we are giving anyways to all the students. Mathematics, these are the topics that we'll be doing in the course, as I said, 25% of the entire NSEA will be covering in, in mathematics. Probably some 13% will not be covering in mathematics. 
Having said, we are planning a, a different course on calculus. So if, if anybody is really eager, you can go for the calculus course also. So in short, 70% of NSEA is what we plan to cover. And if I talk of the merit index score, minimum admissible score, generally over the past three, over uh, last year, 57% of maximum score was the merit index score. That means if a student is securing 57% or more in NSE examination, that is 216 57% or more, then that student is clearing NSEA irrespective of the state cutoff. And we are covering 70% portion. So this is the best chance students have time in 10 standard, they can do it. Testing plan ke point of view say, you can see we, we have planned five part test, full, full, full test, and this, these tests are there for all the students, either astronomy or uh, full course. Then, as I said, there will be solving material, which will, which will have a theory for physics and maths, and assignments, daily assignments with lectures. Along with that, exercise one ka practice questions, exercise two previous year questions students will be getting. In astronomy, all previous year questions uh, last 12 year previous year questions students will be getting in addition to daily assignment with lectures. We will, we are creating 350 questions in astronomy so that we can, we can, in addition to this PYQs so that students can get a rigorous practice even in astronomy. Doubt solving is going to happen on telegram. This is something that really happens. Uh, it is a part of our every Marquee program. Who will teach this course? This course will be taught by Madhu Kashab Jagdish sir. Astronomy will be taken by Madhu Kashab Jagdish sir. What can I tell about this individual? His one of the sessions will be, uh, will be uh, in fact, I will also be calling him on YouTube. He'll be taking few sessions on YouTube. I interacted with him and such a contagious personality with nine plus years of experience, uh, astrophysics scientist who has already conducted a lot of astronomy courses for Olympiad aspirants. It's not the first time that he's taking this course. More importantly, he's a passionate individual about astronomy. He has even got two awards, one, one Young Researcher Award from European Space Agency and Young Scientist Award from Indian Science Congress. A lot of research publications he, is, he, is, he has on his name. Most importantly, he has authored multiple books on astronomy at beginner level as well as at advanced level. You can see the, you can see the photo he's, he's carrying his book uh, authored by him. He is a wonderful teacher. I'm pretty sure students will really, really fall in love with astronomy once they study from him, once they interact with him. Maths part will be taken by Abhay sir, Chetan sir. You know these faces. They are well-known faces. I will not talk about them. They have authored IOQM book and let's, I mean, you already know about these teachers. Physics will be taken by Abhinit Srivastav sir, who is a B.Tech from GIMT Ghaziabad, has also done an MBA from M MIT Noida. He is having eight plus years of experience in training, corporate, and he, last, last to last year in JE need batches, he has produced a lot of selections in Vedantu. So from teacher standpoint, you be rest assured, we have made sure that you get justice when it comes to providing right teaching to students. So for class 9, 10 students, few, few cents of suggestions that we have for you. We are assuming that you have ample amount of time. We are assuming that you can go all in. Around three to four hours of preparation every day from now, probably 90 days in total you have, 90, 93 days. You have around 300 hours that you can put in from now. 300 hours are good enough time. 300 hours, if you divide, in astronomy there are 24 live lectures that we just talked about. 24 live lectures, if, if every lecture takes, in addition to class time, it takes say another 1.5 1, 1. to 2 hours. So that is 72 hours take more buffer 100 hours of astronomy. Physics, we are taking 20 live lectures. Same calculation. So if you if you really pour all, all your heart and soul into it, cracking NSEA is the easiest out of crack, out of NSEPs, NSEs, all the other NSEs, right? So you guys should focus on entire astronomy. The topics that you can do in mathematics as per our understanding are these that you can really do, you can really aim. You can, the topics that you can do in physics, I'm assuming mechanics, most of them, most of you students would already have done it. 
So I, that's why I've not added mechanics, but that is something you can do. So my recommendation is you go for these topics. If you do these topics, these are the MI and MS, MAS that you are completing. I mean, you, you, what I'm saying is 24 plus 20 plus 16. That is 60 percent portion pay if you concentrate. 60 percent of 216 is is greater than 124, which is merit index score. For all of you who don't know what is merit index score, merit index score is the minimum uh, is the score if scored by a student then he is by default qualified for next round. So you can see 57.4% was the merit index score for group B students and what we are talking, 60% coverage over here, even if we don't include mechanics. So you should go for it. Students of class 11th. Now there are two types of students. One who probably would be struggling in your classes to manage all the three subjects. Second, who is quite ahead, who's, you know, who is in a good mental space, everything is sorted. For those who are probably struggling to manage time, I believe for you, aspiring lot may be a little challenging. So probably you can only focus on Ashnom if NSEA is your aspiration or if Ashnom is your aspiration. Probably these few topics if you can, if you can go. But for students who are quite ahead, I think you too can give your heart and soul into it. So if you if you if you focus if you if you follow this strategy, the entire astronomy you do. Students who are struggling, obviously, you should not be picking anything new. Only revise whatever you have done till now in eleventh uh, maths, uh, including complete coordinate. Revise mechanics. Do bit of fluids, heat and thermo. In all likelihood, you would be completed if you are in a good place. Uh, whose, whose syllabus is on time, you should have probably completed heat and thermo also. At max, you can aspire optics and. You, what you're doing is essentially preparing yourself for around 69%. And as I said, greater than what merit index score is. So 69% for oh, you just focus on that part, just attempt questions on that part. Timing is also not an issue for you. You can really put a good chance for yourself, right? For class 12 students, for class 12 students, guys, here you should not do anything which is uh, which is very much dis in dissonance with your JE preparation. Because your JE generally is the top priority. For students who, whose priority is astronomy, there is a different story altogether. But for students whose priority is JE, for you, point is simple. You should just focus on revising 11, 12th physics and maths. At max, you can do astronomy. You can only cover astronomy because that is something you don't know. But physics and maths, you know, just aim of aim, 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 just aim to revise that, right? As I said, you cannot deprioritize JE. That's very important. You can all you can do is probably spare some extra time for astronomy. That's why we are saying astronomy course is recommended for class twelve students. As far as physics is concerned, for physics you focus on NSEP. If you are focusing on NSEP, that is a superset of NSEA as far as physics is concerned. I'm pretty sure NSEA the ho hi chayega, right? For you, last year, these were the MI and MAS score. Not a lot of difference between group B. That is because it is easier to score. It is easier to, uh, to clear. For a 10th, 11th student, it is easier to clear astronomy than other subjects. That is why the MI and MAS are almost comparable, right? So folks, just to summarize, for, for, for 9th, 10th, 11th students, we have this course of target NSEA. Not that these students cannot go for pure astronomy. They can go for only astronomy as well. But this is our recommendation. Course is priced at 8,000. Course starting on August 23rd with astronomy classes starting uh, on August 23rd and physics maths classes starting later on. On September 4th, once you get free. All classes are on uh, are on Saturday uh, uh, or on 9 p.m. to 10.30. Astronomy classes on Wednesday, Saturdays. Rest of the classes on 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Right? Only astronomy course, 4,000 rupees. Starting on August 23rd, classes Wednesday, Saturday, 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. So, so with this, students, wish you all the very best. Let's get gold for India in 2024. Chak day.